A.J. McCarron, fresh off the win against LSU. He joins us on the program. All right, I know you want to win the national championship. How much do you want to win the Heisman? Uh, I mean, it, it's an honor to be in the talk, but uh, that's the last thing on my mind. Um, like I told the guys the other night for ESPN, uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a happy guy going home uh, to my family and looking at uh, the national championship rings that we have achieved as a team. Um, no individual award can, you know, uh, replace those. And uh, so it, it's the last thing on my mind. I, I, it really doesn't uh, bother me at all, and I really don't care. But here's the point, I think, because you look at all these other quarterbacks that get their mention, pro prospects. We talk about Manziel and Winston and Mariota, and we're talking about Petty and Bridgewater. And then, oh, yeah, and A.J. McCarron. You're a competitor. So there's part of you that has to, I mean, do you like with playing with a chip on your shoulder maybe that people don't realize what you've done or maybe you know, uh, putting you in that conversation? Uh, I mean, I love it. Uh, I think it, it makes me the player I am today. Um, you know, I, I feel disrespected at times. And uh, when I step out on the field, I, I mean, uh, people can say cocky or confident or whatever they want to say, but I think I'm the best quarterback in the nation um, at all times when I get out on the field. So uh, you know, I, I try not to talk and I, I try to stay out of media and everything. I, I just want my play to do the talking and, uh, and, um, and like I've always said, you know, uh, my job's easy uh, with my teammates. So um, people can say whatever they want. Uh, I'm just happy I'm playing for this team. Well, maybe because your team is so good, you don't get as much credit. Hey, well, that's fine with me. Uh, <laughs> I don't, well, like I said, I, I don't need the credit. I go home and, and don't lose an ounce of sleep because um, people don't mention me and the Heisman. Uh, you know, I'm still a happy man and uh, thankful and blessed for every opportunity I get and every day to play the game. So, uh, you know, if my teammates get all the credit, hey, I'm happy as uh, I'll get out for them. Do you have to do chores around the house? Your parents make you do chores? Uh, of course. When I was growing up, uh, my dad's a fireman. Uh, my mom worked two or three jobs. So uh, a lot of times, you know, I was at the house um, by myself with my little brother. So I had to cook dinner, wash clothes, do everything, um, you know, growing up. But do you play the Alabama card, you know, the quarterback that I, I, I don't need to take out the garbage? Like, I, you know who I am? Do you ever do that at home? No, no, no. Yeah, I, wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't go over. No, I don't. Uh, my, my mom might backhand me real quick. <laughs> uh, and and I, I, I've seen my dad's uh, the, the fireman belt that's a little too uh, too much leather. Um, I, you only you get spanked by that one time, you're done. <laughs> well, well, my parents had a real thin belt when we'd get spanked. <laughs> like you had the, well, you had a thicker one. I, I had the thin one. Or my mom would take a, a small branch off a tree and then we'd know she'd oh, be, yeah. you know, we'd hear her walking up the steps and man, mm -hmm. you know, we'd start crying before she even got into the bedroom to, uh, to spank us. Yeah. The, the, uh, my, that, that's the grandfather, the grandparents way that go get a twig off the, uh, <laughs> the tree and pull all the leaves off. So you can get beat. Oh yeah. It. You got to get whacked. By the way, how's yeah. your, how's your back after uh Saban jumped into your arms? <laughs> what was that it's all great. about? Uh, like Coach said after the game in his press conference, you know, me and Coach been through a lot. Um, you know, a lot of stuff people seen on TV, um, and then a lot that people don't even know about. So um, we were both just happy and that we won. It was a big game for us, and uh, you know, just um, just a good moment for our team. So uh, we just hugged it out, I guess. AJ McCarron, the Alabama quarterback, joining us, Dan Patrick Show. But you call him your second father, right? What? Why? What? What is it about that relationship that would border on being more than just coach player? Uh, it's just. I mean, I think the player I am and the man I am today, and um, not being selfish uh, at all times, and trying to do what's best for the team, and um, you know, he, he's helped me become the guy I am uh, uh, by a long ways. Because if you would have known the 18 year old that I came in to college as, um, I probably was, you know, uh, a little cocky outside of the, the lines and, um, probably a little too selfish. And so, uh, I felt like, you know, 
me personally, uh, I've come a long way. Um, like I said, as a person, as a man, and as a teammate, and uh, I, I owe Coach all that thanks. And he's always been there for me. He's never lied to me and never led me in the wrong direction. So, uh, you know, I have no reason not to trust him and, uh, you know, not to uh, love him as like a second dad. When it comes to the game plan, though, and you wanting to do something, you see something, that freedom there, how much freedom do you have, flexibility, with you and Coach Saban to be able to change something during a game? Uh, I think pretty much every play. Um, uh, he said in this press conference, you know, uh, we ran one time, and I told him I came to the sideline real quick, just shouted that at him. He uh, he saw me coming, so he kind of, like, pulls his head set it off a little, and I tell them, like, hey, listen, y'all can't call that again because we don't have enough blockers that way. We're outnumbered. You need to call this. Blah, <laughs> wait, wait, blah. you yelled at him? Yeah, like yelling towards the sideline. Oh, okay, okay. So you raised your no, voice not. just so he could hear you. Right, exactly. He had a headset on. <laughs> You'd never <laughs> yell at him. you just yell in his direction. Right. No, no I have no reason to <laughs> yell at anybody. <laughs> Has he yelled at you? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sure. I mean, uh, last time that he did. I, I don't remember the last time he's he's ever yelled. Really, uh, it's, it's been a while. Probably a couple of years. Probably <laughs> last for real time was probably uh, the time we made ESPN not top ten <laughs> when what he was... against Mississippi State. Uh, what two years ago? Oh, three did, years ago. And what did he say to you? I don't remember. I always mess with him because he's so small. That he was, uh, he was. We were walking, and I, I wasn't really paying attention. I just remember him yelling, and, and then next thing you know, he uh, he slaps me on the rear end. So, uh, <laughs> that, I mean, I, like always, I always mess with him. I don't know what he was saying, but I just heard him yelling. Uh, who do you think second best team in the country? Uh, well, you know, I I don't really have. I, I don't ever have a chance to to watch them. Um, but I mean, I'm gonna go by the standings and uh, and where what teams are placed where. So I guess uh, Florida State uh, number two. Been in there part of you that wants Oregon? No, I mean I don't. <laughs> I don't want anybody. I, I think uh, you know once you start asking. Um, I was kind of, my grandfather told me this. You, you never ask for a fight. Uh, if it comes your way, then. You, you meet it like a man, but you never ask for something because you're going to end up getting something that you don't want. Are you still in love? With what? Football? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a veteran move there. You just shook me off there. <laughs> I would, got some good practice would you, for the media. Would you ever use one of your championship rings to get engaged? Oh, Lord, no. Uh, <laughs> oh, you wouldn't give – give, really? No. Uh, listen, f- football is a game to me. That is <laughs> – is not – it is not life by any means. I've been playing this game since I was three years old, so. <laughs> is there anybody you love more than football? Well, I love my family. Who else? Any, is- anybody. Family, friends. I mean, everybody <laughs> that has a part to do with my, my family, I, I, I love them. Roll Tide, right? <laughs> I'm just glad. I'm just glad that this uh, the Roll Tide incident didn't happen <laughs> this time like it did last time. Oh, that was funny though. I mean, yeah, that, that it, was it right was on funny. cue. I uh, know it, it, it was kind of weird. <laughs> but that happens how many times during the day? You're walking on campus, and all of a sudden somebody says something, they go Roll Tide. Yeah, I mean, it, uh, usually a couple times a day. You definitely don't go a day with you know, here on campus without saying roll tight at least once. Well, good to visit with you again. Congrats on the win. And, uh, you know, I'll see you during Heisman week and uh, good luck against Mississippi state. Yes, sir. Thank you for having me. All right. Thank you, AJ. And roll tight. The Dan Patrick show weekday mornings on audience.